Camden Town Tube Station from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org as per the version at 0219 on the 25th of November 2007. Camden Town Tube Station is a major junction on the Northern Line and one of the busiest stations on the London Underground Network. It is particularly busy at weekends with tourists visiting Camden Market and Camden High Street. To prevent overcrowding, entry is prohibited on Sunday afternoons. Northbound, the next stations are Chalk Farm and Kentish Town. Southbound, Mornington Crescent and Euston. The station is in Travel Card Zone 2. Section 1, Charing Cross, Euston and Hampstead Railway. The station began life as part of the original route of the Charing Cross, Euston and Hampstead Railway, brackets, CCE and HR, close brackets now the Northern Line. As the line here branched into two routes, to Hampstead and to Highgate, the design of the station was rather unusual, shaped like a V. The line to Hampstead, brackets, now the Edgware branch, close brackets, is under Chalk Farm Road. The line to Highgate, brackets, now the High Barnet branch, close brackets, is located under Kentish Town Road. With the narrowness of the roads above and the necessity to keep directly beneath them to avoid having to pay compensation to landowners during construction, on both lines the northbound platform is directly above the southbound platform. At the apex of the V is a junction allowing northbound trains to take either of the branches north and likewise allow for the trains south from the branches to join the single southbound track. This resulted in four connecting tunnels. When the CCE and HR and City and South London lines were joined together, after the City and South London line became part of the London Underground, a short extension from a Houston terminus of the City and South London was built to connect with each of the two northerly branches. This added another four tunnels to the junction, making it the most complex junction on the network. The junction is located beneath Camden High Street. After the CCE and HR was combined with the City and South London Railway to form a northern line, southbound trains at either platform could use either route. This led to considerable confusion at the platforms, as there was no indication as to which would be the best to get to the next train to the destination intended, although nowadays an electronic departure board informs passengers as they enter the station. The lifts and emergency stairs to the platforms were inside the vertex of the V, leading to four passageways, one to each of the platforms, with return passageways back to the lifts. This was replaced in later years due to increasing congestion, with an escalator heading from the station building to the circulating area of the north end of the platforms. This has only two pairs of parallel passageways, one for each branch, with a small side passage on each leading to the lower platforms. One set of the original lift passageways became part of a ventilation system, but the remaining one adds to the confusion of the station. The West Facade was bomb damaged in 1940 and only partially rebuilt. Section 2. The 2003 Derailment On October the 19th, 2003, the points at one of these connecting tunnels was the site of a derailment, which caused damage severe enough to close the line for over a week. No one was badly hurt, as the train's movement was confined by the tunnel. After the accident, trains were restricted to travelling either from the Edgware branch to the Bank branch, or from the High Barnet branch to the Charing Cross branch. This situation continued for some time, and many considered whether it would be permanent, brackets, particularly as this would make managing the two branches through central London easier. Close brackets. However, Full use of the junction was restored in March 2004. A joint report by London Underground and its maintenance contractor, Tube Lines, concluded that poor track geometry was the main cause, and extra friction arising out of striations, brackets, scratches, close brackets, on a newly installed set of points, had allowed the leading wheel of the last carriage to climb a rail and so derail. The track at the derailment site is on a very tight bend in a tight tunnel bore which prevents canting the track by dipping the height of one rail relative to the other, the normal solution in this sort of situation. Section 3. Rebuilding Plans 
The station is particularly busy at weekends, with tourists visiting Camden Market and Camden High Street. To the extent that to prevent overcrowding on the platforms, entry is prohibited on Sunday afternoons. Congestion is predicted to get worse, and entry may in the future be prohibited on Saturdays too. London Underground has therefore submitted plans for the station to be rebuilt. Rebuilding the station would ease congestion to allow it to be kept open during normal hours. Step-free access for the disabled would also be provided. Rebuilding would also allow easier interchange and thus allow the planned segregation of the Northern Line services in order to increase capacity on the Northern Line as a whole. In addition, the general ambience of the station would be much improved. There are plans to completely rebuild the platform area, demolishing the original lift shaft space and the current circulating area at the foot of the escalators and replacing with two large level atrium. The upper level taking the form of a balcony with various access points onto the platform and escalator access between levels. This would be reached by an additional new set of escalators. According to London Underground, Achieving this reduction in congestion requires them to demolish the old station building. In addition, to provide both a new temporary exit during construction work and to comply with modern safety standards, London Underground claims that it is necessary to demolish Buck Street Market, commonly known as Camden Market, brackets, one of five local markets, close brackets, the electric ballroom, a church, brackets, housing two separate and growing congregations, close brackets, and several houses and shops to the north of the station. Apart from complaints about destruction of one of the oxblood tiled station buildings, brackets, although there are over 20 of these Leslie Green designed buildings, close brackets, there is a significant controversy over the demolition of the buildings to the north. Complaints particularly centred on London Underground's desire to replace the buildings with modern construction said to be out of place and out of scale with the remainder of Camden Town together with complaints about the loss of the buildings and market themselves. This led to a public inquiry being held. In January 2004, consultants Arup published plans commissioned by Save Camden, a group of local market traders, for a remodelling which would preserve the majority of the threatened buildings, including the market. In 2005, Transport for London lost its appeal to the office of the Deputy Prime Minister and the scheme has been cancelled. It is not known when they will propose an alternative scheme or what it will involve. Section 4. Miscellaneous Information Camden Town is one of eight London Underground stations with a deep level air raid shelter underneath it. The entrances are on Buck Street, brackets, near the market, close brackets, and Underhill Street. Nearby places include Camden Town, Chalk Farm, Kentish Town, Regent's Park, and Somers Town. Info box. Place, Camden High Street. Local authority, London Borough of Camden. Managed by, London Underground. Platforms in use, 4. Station code, ZCT. Annual entry slash exit, 15.329 million. This concludes the article. This sound file and all text within the article are copyright under the GNU Free Documentation Licence, available at www.gnu.org forward slash copyleft forward slash fdl.html.